Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy Techno, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart 8 Blind. And I have not said that in a while, wow. Um, today, as you can see from the link picture up there, the Zelda DLC for Mario Kart 8 has actually came out today. And because of that, we got some new content to go over. So let's go to single player and do Grand Prix 150cc as I did in the Let's Play previously. Now, um, some new things happened, though before I show off the stuff that, the, that came in the Zelda DLC, I want to point something out quickly. If you pre-ordered both the Zelda DLC and the uh, Animal Crossing DLC, you get different colored Yoshis. So green, red, dark blue, light blue, yellow, pink, black, white, and orange, as well as different colored Shy Guys. So red, green, blue, light blue, um, yellow, pink, black, white, and orange. So the same exact colors for both. Wanted to point that out quickly because when I first showed off the Mercedes-Benz DLC, I didn't pre-order them, so I didn't get the different colored Yoshis and Shy Guys, so I wanted to point it out this episode. But, other than that, let's go out, let's go with the stuff that you guys actually want to see. Now, before that, again, um, part of the DLC is the Amiibos. Now, it's not going to show here, but this is my me. And actually, let me go back just quickly. I'm sorry if you want to see the Zelda DLC really badly, but first off... Um, part of the new update is the Amiibos. If we press plus, you can see that we can actually get some Amiibos, and we can get, um, different costumes for our Miis. So you can get Mario, Luigi, Peach, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Link, Captain Falcon, Kirby, Samus, Aaron, and Fox McCloud. So that's pretty cool. So if you want, if you have Amiibos from probably Smash Brothers, you can get outfits for your Mii. But other than that, let's go on to the main content, which is Grand Prix. Um, 150cc. Now, the three characters we got are Tanuki Mario... Cat Peach and Link. Now, because there are two cups, I'm only going to be doing two episodes. This episode is the Egg Cup, and the next episode is the Triforce Cup. However, that also means I'm only going to be using two characters, as well as two cu carts. We got four carts in total, and we also got um, three characters. And uh, so, I'm not going to use two carts or one character. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, but oh well, that doesn't really matter. Now, Tanuki Mario, I'm going to go over the stats quickly. Um, Tunic Mario has the same exact stats as Mario. If we do this, we can see it has the same exact stats. So, Tunuki Mario was literally Mario, but with an outfit change. Cat Peach, same exact thing. Cat Peach has the same exact stats as regular Peach. Let's go. So, both of them are just costume changes, which is a disappointment, but what do you expect? Also, I like how Peach goes, Meow! Meow. That's so cute. And Tunuki Mario goes, Tanuki! Yeah, that's cool. However, the meat of the potatoes, the meat of the potatoes, um, the meat of this meal, I guess, of this DLC, is Link. Really cool. And what's really cool about him, he has the same exact stats as Waluigi. Yep. The character I main, Waluigi. Link has the same exact stats as, and he also has the same exact sense as Donkey Kong and Rosalina and stuff, though I say Waluigi since he's the one I race as the most. Um, so Link is really cool. Now, I'm not going to use Link right now, though, as tempting as it is, because, um, Tanuki Mario, um, is going to be first, because I feel like I should use Link in the Zelda, in the Triforce Cup, since it's Zelda-themed, so this episode I'm going to use Tanuki Mario, and the next episode I'll use Link in the Triforce Cup. But, other than that, uh, before we actually do the Egg Cup, let me go over the new carts. So, the new carts we got are the Blue Falcon. These are the stats for it. The Tanuki car, these are the stats for it. The B Dasher from, um, which is Mario Mario's cart from Mario Kart DS, which is my favorite Mario Kart game. Uh, I guess kind of Mario Kart kind of took it, so whatever. Yeah, because uh, Mario Kart is now my favorite Mario Kart game before Mario Kart DS was, but yeah, so Mario Kart, so Mario Kart DS, I guess, is my second favorite now, but yeah, B Dasher, this is the stats for it. And, uh, oh, did not mean to do that. And finally, we got the. Master Cycle, the Master Cycle, which is obviously Link's new um, vehicle, and yeah, these are the stats for it. Now, which card am I going to use? Well, I'm actually, I didn't actually decide this, I forgot these cards existed, so I didn't even check the stats for them, so I'm going to skip until I figure out which card to use, so I'll see you in a bit. Well, in the end, what I decided was I'm actually going to use the B-Dasher, because it has the same exact combination as the um, Circuit Special. And that's the card I use all the time. So yeah, so it looks like I finally have a new card to use. Because normally my combination is Waluigi with the Circuit Special, Cyber Slick Wheels, and Cloud Glider. But now it looks like the B-Dasher is going to become my main, my new main cart. But uh, I'll use the main the B-Dasher for now. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is I'll probably use the B-Dasher. And then I'll use the Master Cycle for uh, Link. 
Um, now, sadly, I won't be using the Blue Falcon, which is pretty awesome, but it just doesn't have that good stats, in my opinion. And the Tanuki cart, I don't like its stats either, so I'll just use the B-Dasher for this. So, sadly, you're not going to be seeing the Blue Falcon or the Tanuki cart in action, but oh well. So, let's get the, the whatever that is. I forgot the name already. And uh, the Egg Cup has Yoshi Circuit from the GameCube, Excite Bike Arena, which is a new course based on Excite Bike, the NES game. Dragon Driftway, I have no idea what that's based off of. And Mute City, which is based off of F-Zero. And without further ado, let's go. The Egg Cup. I'm really excited for this. Also, the, this is blind. Just p reminding you guys. Now, if you have not watched uh, previous episodes in this Let's Play and you're new here, basically what I do is I try to get at least a gold cup. A gold ranking, I guess. Um, in each cup that I do. And if I don't get a gold, um, I will redo it until I do. And whenever I redo it, most likely I'll have fails and I'll show that off. So, that's what I do in my Let's Plays. Also, wow, this is really nice. Also, I haven't played Mario Kart in a while, so, I mean, I'm not, I won't be that bad. But, uh, okay, yeah. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be kind of bad because I haven't played in a while. But, shouldn't be that bad. I'll probably get used to it in, like, three seconds. Also, something I want to point out is, uh, I've read some comments on previous videos... Um, my Let's Play has kind of gotten some attention, like one or two people have commented, and they were kind of negative comments, which I kind of expected. They're from mainly Episode 3 and Episode 4, which was the Star Cup and the like, and the uh, Special Cup. And basically they said, oh, you suck at the game, you know, it's, the, it's your fault, not the game's. Which I kind of expected, and yes, I know, I sucked at the game, you don't have to tell me. But do know that I am a lot better at the game. Now, right now, I guess it's not that good of a, um, you know... It's not a good representation of how good I am, but do note that I am better at the game, so I won't fail nearly as much, though there will still be fails, because as you know, right now, I'm in fifth place right now, which kind of sucks. But yeah, Yoshi Circuit. Um, this is from Mario Kart Double Dash, in case you didn't know. So a game I have played and loved, and I'm actually kind of glad Yoshi Circuit's back. Also, crap, I'm doing really bad. Wow. Uh, Yoshi Circuit, um, honestly, even in Double Dash, I kind of had trouble with uh, drifting, because some of them have really tight turns, and I actually... Um, actually this track came back in Mario Kart DS, um, and I have played a lot in Mario Kart DS, so I am familiar with it quite a bit. So th it's from two Mario Kart games I've played, but even then, that still does not mean it's not difficult. I'm sorry if I'm not drifting as well, but like I said, it's, it is difficult. You know, th it, there's a lot of tight turns, but I gotta say, they were made it really well. They kind of kept it true to Mario Kart Double Dash, so that's good. You know, it is, it is a nice track. You know, I do like how they were made it. Some people are more critical, and it's like, oh, if it's not exactly the same as how, how the original was, it's not good. I honestly don't care, and honestly, I kind of like it when it's different from it, because it has, it, I mean, it's not the same track over again. Though I guess if it's, you know, bringing it back, it should be the same. Basically, I kind of like a balance, and uh, it looks like this is pretty similar to it, so that's good. And it is fun, you know, I, I am having fun right now, and I'm not doing terrible. I'm going to be in second place right now. Also, wow, I just noticed... There is a map in the corner. Is that new just to this track, or is that for every track? If it's for every track, that's amazing, because I've wanted a map in the corner for so long now, because I use the gamepad to race, and I mean, I never get to see the map. So if the map is in every single race now, thank you, Nintendo, because I am so happy that that's in there, if it is in every track. So, yeah, I guess we finished second place. That's not a terrible place to finish in, but it... Yeah, I mean... Oh, well, it's not first, but... Yeah, also, I am not even going to try to go for um, any star ranks. Um, I managed to get a three-star rank in every single cup for 150cc and below, but it took a long time, so I will not be able to do it here, especially considering I've never played these tracks before. But still, it's still fun nonetheless, and it's it's pretty uh, interesting to see if I'll be able to do it. Excite by Arena. It looks like this is kind of another baby park, except with ramps, and not baby park at all. You know what I mean. It's basically like a, uh, a circle. I can, you basically wrap around it multiple times. And also, this is reminiscent of the Excite Bike um, game from NES, which I haven't played, but, uh, you know, I heard it's fun. Basically, I guess these are all just tricks. Ahoy. Tricks land. I don't know what other words I can do. But, yeah. Um, I'm sure if you play Excite Bikes, this should make you giggity and stuff. But me personally, um, for never playing it, I don't really see. I, I don't have that nostalgia behind it. Though it it does seem cool, and it, it's a track made for tricks, so that's cool. Ha! I got Luigi. Beat that. 
But, uh, yeah. Let's do trick. Oh, the mud slows you down. Well, I guess that's to be figured out. Uh, oh, crap. This is three laps. This is going to be quite long. I mean, you only wrap around, and I guess it can get kind of boring, but, yeah, there's three laps. So that's not that bad. And, uh, yeah, tricks and tricks everywhere. Oh, banana peel. That kind of sucks. Um, I'm going to be honest, because I haven't done a Mario Kart episode in a long time, I don't really remember how I commentated in the Let's Play. So, it might be a little shaky. Hopefully, when I do the, the Triforce Cup, it wouldn't be as shaky. But, do know that I am trying my best, and it, it shouldn't be that bad. Because, you know, it, it's still interesting. I, at least, I hope it is. Uh, but, yeah. Right now, I'm not doing too bad. I'm in second place currently. Um, now, this track, it seems like no one will really... Like, it looks like everyone will stay close together as long as you don't fail really badly. So right now I'm in first place, but like there's everyone's behind me. So it looks like um, everyone's close together. So I gotta be careful. So if I make one slip up, I'm done for. At least that's what I've been seeing. Um, now I have, I'm really good right now because I'm in first place with, okay, with one red shell rotating around me now. I was gonna say two, but the red shell that was thrown from behind me, um, it hit one of my red shells, which saved me, which is nice. But now I have one less one. So I only have one red shell rotating behind me. So if anyone goes in front of me, which they most likely will, I can just throw it at them, which is nice. Oh, that's kind of bad. Loopers. Uh. Well, I'm looking at the map, and no one's really there, so that's good. And the finish line's right here. I lost my red shell. I probably hit a banana or something. First place. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's continue. I think I'm going to get gold very easily, unless something terrible happens. I don't see me failing that much, which is good, you know. Um, I... I gotta admit, the earlier episodes, I did fail a lot. Like, I was watching them, and I'm like, why the hell am I not drifting? Why am I not doing any tricks? But, uh, <coughs> sorry about that. But, yeah, luckily I'm a lot better. Dragon Driftway. I have no idea what this is. I'm sure it's just, just any new track. And it looks kind of cool. It looks like you're going to a dragon right here, so that's cool. Let's go! Okay, yeah, I, I honestly think in this D DLC update type thing, they added maps in the corner. Thank you, Nintendo, because, oh my god, I hated not being able to see the maps. This is the only Mario Kart game in, in existence in where there was no map, and I hated it. Because, yes, you, you can use the gamepad as a map, but I, I no one ever used that. And considering me, who uses the gamepad to race, and I normally look at the gamepad, sort of, not really. It, well, actually, it basically was an inconvenience, because, like, you know, if, if you want to see the map, why would you look down on the gamepad? have it in the screen so I can just look quickly to the right. But luckily they fixed that and it looks like they have it now. Also, this track is confusing as hell. Jesus. Like, oh my god. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. It's cool, but it's confusing. Uh... Also, it looks like this is... Uh, has a lot of anti-gravity. Yeah, wow, we just exited it and now we're back in, on it. Also, second lap. So, I guess it's not that long of a track, which is nice, though. I am in... Actually, third place is in a bad place. I really don't want to jinx this, but I am not doing too bad at all. I'm doing really good. I mean, I'm going to throw the red show right now, and okay, I hit the third sec. God damn it. Uh, looks like Morton passed me at the last second, so I instead of hitting the first place first, I just hit Morton. And did that red show connect? Probably not. I think it actually hit a wall. Actually, no, it did connect. Sweet. Another red show. Take that. Whoever's in front of me, I don't really know. Uh, Luigi, my twin brother, even though I'm, actually, I guess Toon Hoot Mario is still Mario. Also, I gotta say that right now, I'm a little disappointed at the new cast of characters for this DLC. Like, Tanuki, Mario, and Cappy, they're just costume changes. Why? Why, Nintendo? Why? This is our fourth Mario and fourth Peach. We have Mario, we have Baby Mario, we have Metal Mario, and now we have Tanuki Mario. And for Peach, we have Peach, we have Baby Peach, we have Pink Gold Peach, and now we have Cat Peach. Why? Why couldn't you give us the five characters from New Super Mario from Mario Kart Wii that was taken out? Basically, Bowser Jr., Diddy Kong, Birdo, King Boo, and Dry Bones. Why didn't you give us those? I'm still pissed off about that. I want those characters in the game, but they're not. Also, fifth place? I was second and third. Why am I so bad? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Third place? Third place is not a bad place to be in, but really, I was in... Second place! Oh my god. At the last second. At the last fucking second, I passed Morton. That is luck right there. 
Also, I gotta be really careful, man. Morton's right behind me, man. 37 points to my 39? 39, right? Probably. I have to get first place in this, or he has to get lower than me. Basically, he has to get lower than me, no matter what, because he could, like, pass me, which is kind of ridiculous since... I mean, I guess the first race, I got third place. I got third place, first place, and second place. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I guess that kind of makes sense. Also, Mute City from F-Zero. I've actually never played an F-Zero game in my life. Yeah. But this looks really cool. Um, F-Zero, I'm pretty sure, has is a futuristic racer. And obviously, this looks futuristic. So, that's cool. I'm actually pretty excited to race in this, race in this race. So, yeah. Wow, this, this actually looks beautiful. Man, this this really looks good graphically. I gotta say, uh, this might actually be the the best looking track in the game. Not not even gonna lie, right here. Like it really looks nice. It really does. Oh my god. Like I'm gushing over the track right now. It really it looks so cool. It looks so futuristic. Look at all these lights. Oh my god. It really looks cool. I guess F Zero is a good racing. Game. I mean, people have been asking for a new F Zero game for the Wii U. Um, Though, I get, I'm gonna say this right now, we're not getting one, I'm sorry, but, like, I honestly think this is kind of, uh, uh... Alright, sorry about that, uh, let's continue, I got a little interruption there. But, uh, people have been asking for F-Zero game, but I'm gonna say this right now, we're probably not getting one, just for the fact that we got Mute City in here. I mean, why would they give us Mute City if they were gonna come out with an F-Zero game? So, sadly, there's no F-Zero game, I'm sorry for all of you who wanted it, but we're not getting one, sorry. Like I said, I really don't think we're getting one, but... You never know, I guess. But, personally, I don't think so. Plus, Miyamoto did sit... Well, not Miyamoto. Someone who worked on F-Zero. I don't know who did. Why, why did I say Miyamoto? I don't know. Maybe he did work on it. I don't know. Either way, someone from Nintendo, I forgot who, said that they're out of ideas for a new F-Zero game. So, they're not going to make a new one. At least, that's what I've heard. So, uh, yeah. No F-Zero game for all you who are wanting one. And, actually, now that I think about it, maybe I should have used the uh, Blue Falcon on this since... This is an F-Zero track, but oh well. I mean, the Blue Falcon, sadly, doesn't even have that good stats. I'm, I'm actually surprised the B-Dasher does. I mean, I really expected the F-Zero, the, uh, the Blue Falcon car to be the fastest, but no, it isn't. Sadly, I'll never use it, but the B-Dasher, I will, because I really like the look of it, and I'm really happy it returned, and I'll be using that for now on. And also, yes, this card's amazing. b is freaking awesome. I'm really happy that it returned. We're almost done with this race, and I've been in first place the entire race. No one's really behind me. I mean, I guess they kind of are, but, like, as long as I never fall off or anything, I should be fine. Also, this kind of reminds me of Rainbow Road a little bit, except nowhere near as difficult or narrow, I guess? I don't know. I basically think of it as Rainbow Road since it kind of has the same... It, it has... It's both beautiful and, like, the final track and stuff. I don't know. It's not Rainbow Road in the slightest, but it kind of reminds me of it, basically. But, yeah, that was a fun track. I gotta say, out of all four tracks I raced in, this is definitely my favorite one. But, uh, yeah. That wasn't so bad. I managed this cup in one try. Got gold on my first try. Actually, I might even get a star ranking. I doubt it, but let's see. And the results is... Ugh, hold on. My mother's calling me. Uh, come on, I need, she's, wait, God, this, God, this has never happened before, uh, ignore that, uh, oh, I got a star ranking, sweet, that's good, and with that, I think I'll let it here, since I gotta do stuff, apparently, uh, sorry for that interruption there, that was really embarrassing, but, uh, yeah, with that, that'll be it for this episode, uh, in the next video, I will be doing the Triforce Cup using Link with the probably Master Cycle. So yeah, they give you an idea. Also, look, yay! Yoshi Cup, the Egg Cup right there. I'll probably play it again on my own free time to get three stars. So yeah, we'll use Link next time. See you guys then.